when, when we were in Paris, we were all in Paris uh, just before they did the first screening, and the real Babe Heffron, uh, he's, he's a really cool guy, he got in a fight with a German guy in a lift. Yes! yes. Do you know the story? No! No, but this no. sounds awesome! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, it is awesome. I, I hung out with Babe a lot, man. He's, he's a really cool guy. And he, he took exception to the fact that a German person was in the same elevator as him. And he said something about, what did he say about you and me is going to Fist City or something? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was wearing a top hat at the time as well. So it was just, I mean, it was a YouTube moment before YouTube. And and, and then they, they, they totally went to blows over this or they just like, I don't threatened know, the I guy? Think, um, you know, uh, you know, German people get a lot of bad press, but I think he was uh, terribly polite and uh, just left the lift and the crazy American in there. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the that's... war has been over for a very long time, Mister Babe. <laughs> <laughs> when you said that your uh, your daddy was in the military, which military? Mm-hmm. English or American or German or where were you at? He was in the medical corps. For he was a colonel, of the medical corps. For in American British. or English? The British. The British, okay. Well, there's a lot of Scots and Irish and Welsh in the in the British military, so uh, we've got to give those guys a shout out. They 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 do most of the fighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see why why Shane Taylor was here for three hours, man. This this is awesome. You know, I, I yeah, I'm chonging a big cigar. I've got a bit of whiskey going on. This this is a good night, man. Oh, now, well, we're, now we're talking. That's exactly uh, that, that's <laughs> the way we that's the way we play it. Was it hard for you to pick up on the uh, American accent? Uh, n- no, actually. Uh, we hear a lot of American accents, TV and all that kind of stuff. And uh, plus, my parent, my folks live in America. They live in Virginia, so uh, I, got, I got a thing for accents anyway. I, I, I really like learning them anyway. Because he didn't, yeah, he didn't try. He, just, he was just himself. You know, that's a good point. He was just himself, wasn't he, in, yeah. that, in Band of Brothers? Except when he was acting to, you know, pretending to be uh, Dale Die, yeah. Douglas is a really smart dude, actually. He's a, he's a, uh, I mean, I, he's a really clever guy. No, so, I'm, ju- uh, I'm totally teasing him right now. I'm yeah, I, I just didn't yeah. want him to deck me. That's why I was... I, I'm, <laughs> I'm that's it. I have no idea if he's clever at all, to be honest with you. <laughs> He can be dumb as a rock. I don't he's, know. he's he's spotty. <laughs> he has his moments. He just <laughs> said Goodlitz was dumb as a rock. No, I said he could be. Hey, oh, well, what? All right, yeah. all right. Could be, could be. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. gonna. I was actually gonna ask what what was. Uh, have you had to have a lot of accents for any of the other roles that you've done? I tell you, my favorite accent is um is is West Belfast, which is in Northern Ireland. Oh, nice. And uh, is that's it- a really. F- that's a really funny accent because it, it has a musicality all of its own all the time. And every single, uh, every single, uh, word has a kind of, uh, si- sound of its own. You know, it's uh, very tricky and weird to do. You, you hit that one on the head. Uh, mm-hmm. I, w- I would try to do accents, but unfortunately I get mm-hmm. laughed at. Uh, what is, why, why can't Americans do accents? I can answer you the question why we can't please. do it. Our yeah, entire language and heritage is already mixed with the old school accents so mm-hmm. we don't we we have no baseline we have created a uh accent all of our own that we force uh-huh. other people to uh use uh versus actually being able to say somebody else's accent it's because just like everything else get... americans do it's either you do it our way or you don't freaking do it at all i respect that <laughs> cuz usually uh, like I mean, like, I mean, most people can sort of, you know, hey man, how's it going? Type of like, do a little bit of American or whatever. But uh, Americans, when they do the English, they, they it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> Usually sounds, hello, meat. Empty a pie. And a pie. <laughs> All right hello, then. Mate. Would you like to have some cream and toast with your pie and beans? I bet some soldiers and eggs. <laughs> do you know what? Those are the best two English accents I've ever heard Americans do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Megan Fitzgerald in Ontario, Canada, wants to know if you kept any props from the series. Uh, I gave most of them away. I have, um, I have my dog tags still. Just your dog tags? Son, just my dog tags, which my son uses uh, as a whistle. He thinks it's a whistle. Uh, but he does wear them a lot as well, which is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Now, you yeah. don't keep your, uh, you don't still wear your boots? Your jump boots? <laughs> 
No. Why would I do that? <laughs> well, apparently, Kudlitz thinks that the, the more you wear them, the comfier they get. And I, uh, I was boots have finally been worn in, have they? <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, and that was one of the other things that he brought up uh, was uh, the the learning of uh, all the rest of the boot camp stuff, like polishing your boots. Did you? Uh, yes. You probably already had a handle up on that because yes. I'm sure uh, Pops made you uh, do all that stuff to begin with, right? Yeah, and also I went to boarding school, and one of our nightly chores was cleaning our shoes. We used to have to polish our shoes on the night. Mm. That kind of explains oh the first question as well, by the way. The boarding yeah. school. Yeah. Um, which boarding school did you go to? Well, I went to a uh, a little boarding school called Reed up in up in north of England. Now, did you guys have, like, uh, shenanigans that we always see on uh, boarding school movies, or is that really just a myth? No, there's plenty of shenanigans. Good. Anything that you can share, or there's still warrants? There's quite a few warrants still out. I once set fire to a big load of hay once. I have to admit that on radio, because <laughs> uh, it kind of uh, it kind of plays on my mind a lot. Um, there's a big load of bundles of hay, and I set fire to them. I I'm probably wanted on an arson um Arson charge there, but well, I, I'm going to admit to that right here and now. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure that the uh, statute of limitations have uh, already passed for arson. Murder is the only one that you got to be really concerned about. Okay, well I'm not going to bring that one up then. No, don't don't no. talk about that one. No. Uh, I but actually... we are missing a physics teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Bonnie always has this question in the chat room. By the way, it, has there ever been a question that you wanted to answer that nobody's asked? Like, there's just something that you want to tell us that nobody's ever broached the subject on, so you never shared that with us. Hmm. Well, actually, that is a pretty good question. Uh, well, and there we go. There we go. I don't know. I don't think I have an answer for that question. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I may come back to that question. Let, 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 me, uh, All right. let me meditate. Uh, what is your favorite and least favorite episode slash scene to film and why? And that was brought to us by Jen, uh, of course, uh, Jenny Lehman. She's in the chat room right now, patiently awaiting answers. So, uh, mm. any favorite episodes or uh, scenes that you really uh, thought were the grooviest? Well, I loved filming all of episode five because, of course, Tom Hanks directed it. So it was kind of like being in a weird bubble of greatness. Uh, so all of episode five will be the answer to half that question. And then... I don't really want to answer the second part. <laughs> there is an episode, there's a scene in the episode, I'm not going to be specific because I don't want to ruin it, that I didn't enjoy doing because I thought I was rubbish. You know one of those days where you just think, I'm rubbish. Uh, there's a scene in episode 10 where they just find out that uh, Grant, is it Grant has been shot by that drunk guy? Yes. And then I'm wandering down the corridor barking orders at people. Uh, give me a non-com and two something or others, and he's going to go find some doctors and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I just didn't feel like I was doing it right. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I just, from the time I got in, I just thought, I'm rubbish. And that could just me be a gigantic actorly punts. But uh, so, uh, I'll tell you something about that, that, about that scene. That scene was shot on a jib. Like a little crane thing. Really? But there's big ones you get, but a mini one inside, right? <laughs> and uh, it, it started high, and it came down as I was walking up towards it down the of the corridor. And this, it, they, we had extras swiping the camera the whole time. And this one guy, he walked underneath it and got smacked on the head and nearly knocked out. Oh my god! But fortunately, he was wearing his helmet inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's uh, like st he was stupid enough to walk underneath it and stupid enough to be wearing his helmet inside. 